Hey, this is great. Outdoors, love, music, harmony. All this flower power kind of stuff is really reminiscent of Woodstock, isn't it? Of course, the drugs are gone, but there are other ways of getting high. Kite flying is taking off again, and not just for kids either. Foil and novelty designs, sports and power kites. These days, the only limit in kite making is people's imagination. And it's more than the looks that have changed. Today's kites owe as much to the space program as they do to the Chinese who invented them nearly 3,000 years ago. At the heart of the revolution in this country is the Bristol-based designer, Martin Lester. My, my first kite didn't look anything like this. Though. I remember it was just a couple of bits of bamboo and uh, my mum's best sheet, I think, knocked it up in the garden. You mean something like that? Absolutely. The classic diamond kite. That looks a bit posher than the one I made. Well, it's made of nylon and it's got two sticks, exactly the same idea. But uh, things have obviously come on a bit since then. Yeah, it's, there's been a lot of changes, a combination of two things, so the modern materials that have come into it, and also there's a lot more people involved with a lot of very different ideas. So what actually makes kites fly? Well, it's the same principle for all kites, uh, whether it's a special shape or a sport kite, um, whether it's a simple, like, simple flat one like this or a very complex box kite. You've got to present the kite to the wind uh, at an angle, um, and the wind is deflected underneath, the kite flies. But it's got to be very light, it's got to be symmetrical about a vertical axis. Um, and I say the trick is presenting the kite at the right angle, but they all obey the same, the same, the same aerodynamics. And that allows you to knock up all these yeah. wonderful and wacky yeah. shapes. Yeah. You must have to get special materials to, to build these. Yeah, for the larger kites, we've got to use different materials, something that's stronger. Um, I mean, the sticks, instead of the wooden dowel that we use on this sort of thing, um, we use carbon fibre. Originally, the, the materials that we used were actually came from uh, archery, from, they were arrow shafts because that was the only way we could get these lightweight, stiff spars. Um, in terms of the fabric, um, this is actually made of a lightweight nylon. This is actually the stuff they make hot air balloons from. Uh, very similar is a spinnaker fabric for lightweight sails. But more recently, the, the manufacturers have actually realized there's quite a big market, and they're developing materials specifically for kites. And this is um, a half-ounce fabric. It weighs half-ounce a square yard. Um, there's no stretch in it very very strong very light and then when we get onto the lines that we're flying the kites from and we're using a spectra line it's a um, high specification polythene or polyester um, and this was actually came out of the space race um, the commercial use now apart from flying kites is bulletproof jackets and things like that but it gives us a line that won't stretch over a hundred feet uh, most lines that you would have flown kites on originally. You probably get 20 feet stretch out of 100 for the line. And with, if you're using high-tech materials for the kites, you want to use high-tech string to fly them. Every time you go flying, it's different. The wind conditions are different. It's coming from a different direction. But there's so many different applications, from, from children flying kites to adults flying kites. And you can make a kite for 5 or 10p out of a uh, bin liner and a couple of garden canes or you can spend hundreds of pounds creating wonderful crafted kites. So you've got something up in the air flying that people walking past actually stop and go, wow, look at that thing up there. Something they're not expecting to see in the air. You know, flying pairs of legs or sharks or a space shuttle. You know, that's the sort of thing <laughs> that really turns me on. At the Bristol Kite Festival, everything that could fly was in the air. There are over 40 clubs in this country now, and every fad is catered for. From the precision of team synchronised flying, to the mad hatter world of kite fighting. Go! <laughs> One of the most exciting developments is power kiting. By stacking a number of fall-shaped kites together, you can harness the wind for some serious fun. Okay, David, you're uh, uh, yeah, thanks for taking in now. 
Yeah, hey. Whoa! Well, I had to have a go, didn't I? But, you know, it's a dangerous sport, but then you go out climbing, you go bungee jumping, there's an element of risk involved in everything. Whoa, she's going, whoa, whoa, she's going, she's going, she's going. I don't think I can hold it. <laughs> whoa! Ah, see you later! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.